Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss the discovery of the closest massive black hole to Earth, which astronomers describe as frozen in time. The massive black hole was spotted with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope, which is closest to the Earth, and appears to be frozen in time. The cosmic object appears to be an elusive, intermediate mass black hole and is likely to serve as a missing link in understanding the connection between supermassive black holes and stellar mass black holes. The black hole is said to have a mass of nearly 8,000 N200 suns, which means it is more massive in comparison to the stellar mass black holes, which have masses between 5 and 100 times that of the sun. The studies lead from the University of Utah, Anil Seth said. This is a once-in-a-career kind of finding. I've been excited about it for nine straight months. Every time I think about it, I have a hard time sleeping. I think that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. This is really, truly extraordinary evidence, he added. The closest stellar mass black hole to have ever been discovered is Gaia BH1, which is just 1,560 light years away. The intermediate mass black hole is present in a collection of nearly 10 million stars called Omega Centauri, which is 18,000 light years from Earth. Black holes are created on the collapse of extremely large stars as they run out of their fuel. The stellar black holes in size are only a few times the mass of our Sun and the monstrous supermassive black holes, which have millions or billions of stellar masses. The University of Utah's undergraduate student and co-author Matthew Whitaker said, There are black holes a little heavier than our sun that are like ants or spiders. They're hard to spot, but kind of everywhere throughout the universe. Then you've got supermassive black holes that are like Godzilla in the centers of galaxies tearing things up. And we can see them easily, he added. It is very difficult to observe the intermediate black holes, since the massive black holes are generally located at the center of the galaxies. These intermediate mass black holes are kind of on the level of Bigfoot. Spotting them is like finding the first evidence for Bigfoot. People are going to freak out, Whitaker said. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.